Hi, I'm William. This is The Wine Room at Putnam Market in Saratoga Springs, upstate New York, and I've been talking about the implications for the wine industry of climate change. And um, one of the curious things that has happened is that the wine and the actual character of the wine has changed, and it's changed in an important way. Partly because one consequence of warmer summers is that there is um, greater photosynthesis, greater sugar accumulation in the grapes, and in consequence, since that sugar is going to be fermented into alcohol, greater alcohol in the wine. And you know, back in the day when I was um, beginning to learn about wine, one of the things we had to know about Chateau Neuf du Pape, which is arguably the most famous uh, appellation in the Southern Rhone, but not very far from the Mediterranean. One of the things we had to know about it was that in order to be called Chateau Neuf du Pape, it had to be at least 12.5% alcohol. Now, say that to somebody today and people will just fall about laughing. Why? Because there isn't a single bottle of Chateau Neuf du Pape which does not easily reach 14.5% alcohol by volume. But what's curious about this is that once upon a time, uh, and indeed some of them quite probably are 16%, but once upon a time, when you got that much alcohol in wine, you could taste it. It was, it, it was described as being hot. You could feel the heat of the alcohol. It was a bit like that experience that you get sort of drinking a martini. You, know, you get that, wow that sort of thing. And you used to be able to taste that quite clearly, and you can't anymore. And the reason you can't anymore is because once upon a time, in order to get that high level of sugar in the grapes, the winemaker would have to leave the grapes on the vine till late into the fall, desperately trying to accumulate more sugar. And of course, what would happen as you left it there is that the grapes would lose their acidity. And as they lost the acidity, so the alcohol became prominent. But now what's happening, thanks to global warming, is that they're getting that level of ripeness much, much earlier while the acidity is still present. And the consequence is you're now finding very high alcohol wines, which are also perfectly balanced.